when I make these videos, I sort of like end up just sort of going over the same things again and again, and never really quite getting the whole experience down. Um, you know, I think all the time about what it is I want to say and how I want to say it, and and. I uh, get constant panic attacks whenever I think about what happened, why it happened, who did it, how it happened, you know, when it happened, what it meant. Um, the, uh, this targeting program, I believe, is a terminal experiment, uh, which means till death. Um, I've already aged like 20 years in the past three years. Uh, my teeth have all turned black and are falling out. Um, that was a result of some of this dust they were spraying on us. Oh, the smart dust. I didn't tell you about the smart dust. There was some kind of dust, uh, black, velvety stuff. It seemed that it could grow like mold almost. But uh, anyway, it was this black powder, very, very tiny, fine, microscopic, almost silvery black powder that was c covered everything and there were times where I would see now I don't know if this is related or not but I would see out of the corner of my eye a little black thing move you know and I would look there'd be nothing there um, but this this dust uh, I believe it's some kind of smart dust, some kind of individually addressable particle uh, that when, by the millions, you know, uh, when they were using some kind of field, a static electric field or some kind of magnetic charged energetic field, uh, when they turned on the machine, uh, Petra called it the Van de Graaff generator. When they turned it on, you could feel like the hair, you could see it, all the hair on your skin would stand up. And it would make this feeling in the, in the room of tension, anxiety, pressure. Uh, and uh, they used this field, I believe, to control these motes or these particles of smart dust. Now, if you imagine a field that's in, I'm just, you know, imagining a field that conveys data, uh, and tells each little dust mode, hey, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, all you guys, do this. Move here with this force, in this direction, this, you know what I mean? Uh, because they used this dust to actually move the walls in our room. Now, I know this sounds weird, but we lived in a small SRL room on the top floor. They had killed or gotten rid of the people who lived downstairs from us so they were free to go in there and what they did is they knocked out all the beams and they did a bunch of bang 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 for a few months I don't know what they did down there but it almost seemed like they turned our room into a, a Hollywood movie set you know a free floating <clears throat> movie set pretty much and they moved the walls in it would make this sound and how do I know the walls were moving well they had a big loft bed I think I might have told this story before but we had a big loft bed and I screwed the loft bed into the wall and as the wall was moving the loft bed was moving and I even took a big 2 by 4 and I like put it between the bed and the wall and it went and popped a hole right through the through the wall um, I have it on video, I have to dig it out of storage. Uh, it moved very slowly. Um, and it made a noise that was so loud that if you were talking on the phone long distance to somebody else in another country, they said, what is that sound? What's going on there? Um, the other thing that this dust was able to do was like, attach itself to, oh say, a wire. And there were times where I'd be like, you know, plugging in the computers. I, w I was trying to set up streaming internet video so I could monitor the room when I was in it, when I was out of it, and I wasn't having much luck doing that, but they would take the wire and, and the wire would go and like, you know, I'd be wrestling with these wires. Um, 
I guess that was supposed to freak me out. Um, and it sort of did, because they did it with, with other things, too. They moved all the walls in the room in slightly, uh, and it seemed like, you know, where the furniture and stuff was, there was a space now behind there to, I don't know what, to get around. They did things like run wires up, you know, like the kind of wire you hang a, a picture with, picture framing wire, and they would run wires up from downstairs or wherever and attach them to objects in the house, and like you would pull the object and they would pull it back and you'd pull it and they'd pull it back and you know silly stuff like that they would move things knock things over they would pull out the wires of the computer from behind the computer and, you know like I took all this plastic and wood and and screwed it into the floor and the walls all around the computer a big plastic cocoon so they couldn't reach in there with any little breachers and pluckers and you know I'm like how are they doing this and, and still they would pull out the network cord pull out the AC plug pull out the you know it was almost like a, a joke um, whenever they came into the room we had we had video surveillance in the room uh, that I set up uh, a few cameras and whenever they came into the room they would like turn off the breakers or they would just move the camera with a wire or you know, it was obvious they were coming and going into the room whenever they wanted, even though we changed the lock once. And um, 